Good afternoon. My name is Diane Haskell and I am the Chair of the Leadership Board for the American Lung Association of Maine. I'm also a respiratory therapist working at Penn Bay Medical Center in Rockport and have been treating patients with lung disease for 20 years. Today we are here to announce Maine's grades for the American Lung Association's annual State of the Air Report. For many Maine counties, the results are encouraging but it is important not to be lulled into a false sense of security because Washington's version of healthy air simply does not follow the science. The good news is that largely because of the Federal Clean Air Act, our air has been getting significantly cleaner over the past few decades. But still, 41% of the Americans, that's 127 million people, suffer pollution levels that are often too high and too dangerous to breathe, with Maine being no exception. The science has also evolved, and we now have a much better understanding of how our air affects our health. We now know there are serious health effects at air pollution levels once thought to be safe. Yet Congress and the Environmental Protection Agency continue to engage in political games that delay and undermine health standards, while American families and businesses pay the price with poor health and higher health costs. Here in Maine, we are particularly at risk. Our location makes us the tailpipe of the nation. We all breathe the soot and smog from factories, power plants, and car emissions to the west and south of us. The pollution poses a severe health threat to all Maine people, but especially children, seniors, and people with asthma, lung disease, and heart disease. It doesn't help that Maine has one of the highest lung disease rates in the country, and heart disease is our major killer. If this pollution was coming into Maine in trucks or on ships, I can assure you there would be an outrage. We would be barricading our borders and holding the sources responsible for the cleanup. But what we're facing instead is an invisible menace. The real battleground is in Washington, and the outcome depends on whether our president, senators, and representatives will follow the science and stand up for our health or side with the industry polluters. Here in Maine, the stakes couldn't be higher. The health of our children and parents the cost of our health care and coverage, and the main brand that is so critical to our economy all are at risk. Thank you for coming today, and now I'd like to introduce Ed Miller, Vice President of Health Promotion and Public Policy for the American Lung Association of the Northeast. Ed?